Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order at 6 o'clock. Uh, yeah, we will start with the pledge and then the commissioner Davis will do our invocation. Can you say? <laughs> Paul, who'd you say? Kevin. We didn't meet? Okay. He's the one that mattered. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for the many blessings you have given us. We ask, dear Lord, that you be with us as a commission. Let us make decisions that help further our town and our city. We ask that you guide us in our decisions, make them be the right one. Be with us and always say and do, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Welcome everyone out on this dreary night. I'm Rick. I told him yesterday, Mother Nature needs to get back on her meds. <laughs> I'm going this, back to Seattle. This is enough. <laughs> Seattle has less rain than Kentucky. Well, what was it? I saw somebody had on Facebook today. It was either Seattle or Portland and woke up this morning like four inches of snow. Yeah. Well, I and it had been in the 70s last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So. Back to 72 on Thursday. Okay. First item of business is approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, seeing five, aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, next item is the bills. Make a motion. We pay the bills. Second. Have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. We have nothing under old business and under new business. If it's okay, I would like to bump up and put the 2020 and 2021 audit up first. Dan's here to talk about it. Give me, I know he's got a trip ahead of him going home. So. Sorry? Tax season to go back. Yeah. Oh, fine. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe you want to stay with us. <laughs> this is later than usual. I think I told you when I was here, though, we lost two key people near the end of the year. And it's, mm -hmm. it's just been separate to deal with. Today, when I was trying to put the finished contestants on this, we had a lot of people in and out. <coughs> lady in who owed $21, and she threw a bigger fit than anybody I had. <laughs> Did you and give her the $21? Well, I, I would have, would have but I had no was that we just taken up a collection and we would yeah. have So she went back home and called me again, and she's still upset about it. And she said she hated nothing worse than to get one check from the federal government for $21. This lady is retired from Fort Knox at civil service, and, and her pension is 100% paid by the federal government. Wow. I didn't have a whole lot of sympathy. Yeah. I, what I, I wish I could get by with 21 <laughs> well, that's what I thought. You know, I, I had one not long after that that owed seventy thousand dollars. So, you know. uh, <clears throat> Here, this, there's two page statement. Just again, I give you that uh, we're required to report this to accounts or commission, stating that you've been audited and what uh, what kind of a situation we came in. The reason for this is we decided a few years ago that these audits, since basically we do all the work right here with the mayor and staff, that in a lot of cases the commission don't, they wouldn't even always know that you've been audited or what the <coughs> circumstances were of it. So explain to a little bit about what the audit is, that there is an estimate of depreciation expense because there's nothing precise about that. No, no difficulties dealing with management. Uh, in fact, you all are really pretty nice people here. <laughs> well, thank you. Us very well. We appreciate that. No, correct, no, correct, no, correct, no, correct, no, no disagreements with management. We got uh, uh, managers gave us a letter giving us certain representations. To our knowledge, we didn't consult with any other independent accounts <coughs> on the audit itself, although you do have the group from Litchfield who prepares the financial statements. Uh, we do have some discussions as we go along and other matters. So. <coughs> So the actual audit report is a bound copy. Um, the audit opinions on pages uh, one through three, it's a clean opinion. <clears throat> Page four is a statement of imposition. This is, this started in 2004, I believe, that <clears throat> governmental side of activities, what you budget on, is basically for all practical purposes, money in and money out, for the general fund, and, uh, MRA and the LGEA and the cemetery and so forth. This one converts it to the same basis it would be if it was a privately held business. So 
A lot of it's the same. The current assets are pretty much exactly the same. But you pick up down there about a third of the way down, capital assets uh, not being depreciated, which is land construction and process. And then capital assets net of depreciation. And of course, one, one big part of that is what you're sitting in right now. That's booked as an actual asset and depreciated just if you're a private business. The current liabilities are pretty much the same as, as you would budget it on. But we have to pick up the debt, notes and leases payable, um, compensated absences. The big thing that has had to be booked for the past several years, you see those deferred outflows, deferred inflows, and the uh, pension liability. If you go across there, it's just about two thirds of the way down. Uh, not that, that anybody's talking about doing that, but you see that figure $2.2 million. That's basically what City of Beaverdam would owe to make, to make CERS solid. And it, it's like that all over. You know, it's, it's not that you're any better or worse off than anybody else. It's all allocated. But that's the kind of shape that the uh, county employee retirement system is. And I will throw in there, that's a whole lot better than if we were KRS or KTRS. Oh <laughs> Some of those are really bad. Uh, and then page five is the same thing. The second activity is this is a business like basis to governmental activities. You start with expenses, you have $2.6 million, and then to the right is how you pay for that. But you see, if, if not for taxes and those, those revenues at the bottom, the city would cost over $2 million just to, to cover those expenses. So then you get enough transfers and revenues at the bottom and changes in that position down the bottom for the government charges, $231,669. Now the The uh, business type activities, water, sewer, and sanitation, there's no difference in the display for that because those are, cons are considered to be, or supposed to be, self-sufficient. So they operate as a business. You know, water, sewer, and sanitation, you know, you're actually charging customers for that and, and you're supposed to, the uh, revenues are supposed to support the expenses. Page six is about- So can I ask one, just so basically for the end of the year, we were in the, Black four hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars. Under this presentation, you were in the black. Uh, changes in net position four hundred sixty-three thousand four hundred seventy-two dollars under that presentation. And then on page six is the balance sheet on the government funds. No. Yeah. This is a traditional. This is a traditional presentation. This is the one that you that you would uh, do your budget on. And <coughs> First general fund and the non major ones that we listen back. Uh, the total fund balance here is $2.8 million overall. And at the bottom, you see the difference in how you get from that to that business like basis. Because mm -hmm. you start 2.8, you get up to a lower right. 5 million, and you do that by booking all the fixed assets, but then you go through all the, the liabilities. Page 7 is the income statement under that, uh, under the, the traditional. So, uh, and Paula, the uh, net change in fund balance, if you look across that at the bottom, this is the traditional one, and if you put it all together, and it's, it's almost six or six thousand dollars mm -hmm. positive. Then page eight is reconciliation. How you go from the six oh six down to the two thirty one six sixty nine? That's a business basis. Nine and ten balance sharing and income saving. It breaks down water, sewer, and sanitation. If you look at the changes in that position at the bottom of page 10, uh, your sewer system has actually had, had a profit to $12,000. I don't see that very often. That's usually the one that everything else is supported. I have some cities where the general fund is keeping money into it to keep it flowing. Well, we've had a, the regional wastewater here has put some money back into the cities. Uh, page 11 is a cash dollars for us. You can see all the way across, halfway down, net increase in cash and cash equivalents. That uh, each each of those funds had an increase in cash, overall 105,000. And so, so the the cash has gone from just under uh, 1.9 million to almost 2 million. And that is the first three funds alone. That's not general fund. Mm -hmm. Lots of pages, lots of notes being on page 12. Uh, so go to 
Page 23 starts capital assets, and that shows uh, on a business-like basis what those governmental assets are. Uh, <clears throat> you've got land, and uh, then you've got all the buildings, land improvements, office equipment, and so forth. Uh, not not very much added to it, $129,000 overall. Then there's some old things that were either traded or just written off, 53 one. So it ended up ended up to seventy-six thousand dollars, basically more in assets and again, and then the rest of it's all turned out depreciation. So when you factor all of that into it, uh, you know, then the capital, the net capital assets uh, have actually declined by well, one hundred thirty-nine thousand dollars, which is due almost entirely to depreciation. Then the rest of it just breaks the depreciation down between the general government, and then the public safety, of course, police and fire. Streets, cemetery, parks, and recreation. Page 24 then is the business type activities. This is water, sewer, sanitation. And again, not a whole lot, a whole lot to do put in, into it. Uh, the capital assets are roughly the same at the end of the year as the beginning. Uh, the uh, the net after all depreciation was claimed on had dropped, you know, about forty-five thousand dollars. Then it breaks the depreciation down between uh, water, sewer, and sanitation. And here are some pages beginning at 25 of the debt. Uh, shows that uh, reductions really pretty much across the board with no new debt. Uh, I'll get to that part about the uh, compensated absences in a minute. Capital lease obligations at the bottom. That's the amphitheater. Uh, then 26 shows Old bracket on five year periods where it takes to pay it, to pay it all off. And if you write it out overall on governmental activities, paying the interest the way it's all set up right now would cost about 2.6 million to pay it all. <coughs> 27 starts all these disclosures on pension plans. Years ago, that was about a page and a half. Now it was over 27. That and the uh, Health insurance ends up going all the way now over to uh, the middle of page 34. Then some, some notes on page 30, 35, 23, and 24 about COVID 19 and subsequent events. <clears throat> the one at the bottom is the one that I want to tell you about. Um, Crude interest payable has always been carried here as fund level, but the same level, the same way that you budget. Now, where's, where's this? Accrued, accrued interest payable. What page are we? Yeah, this is, you know, the interest that would be due. Now, what days. page are you? Um, I'm on bottom page 35. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you've always carried it like as a current liability, which would make it like the traditional presentation. But uh, county principles say that accrued interest payable should be on a business like basis. And it never been done. So uh, the list of firm made that adjustment this time. Then the other one, the compensated absence is the same way. You've been carrying all your crew sick and vacation as a current liability. But our principals say that that's supposed to be booked as a long term liability and only counted at the uh, government wide level, the business wide basis. Okay. So we, made, we just basically just went ahead and made that adjustment. It, it wasn't a lot in, in early years, but in the beginning of of this fiscal year, seventy-four thousand dollars is what it would take if, if everybody quit today. Uh, page thirty-six is the budget, and that's probably similar to what you've seen before. Uh, revenue is one hundred fifty-nine thousand more than you budgeted. Expenditures are eleven thousand less. Throwing transfers and everything, your budget was really general fund budget was two hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars better at the end of the year than the amount that you budgeted for. Oh, uh, then starting 37, several more pages right at the notes and the health insurance. Supplementary information, beginning on page 43. And all that does is break down the SNAP and the cemetery, Unit Pride, LTEA, and the MRA. And all those amounts are broken. Uh, charges for services on page 45 are broken down. 
That's what we like to hear. That's definitely what we like to hear. So, any questions? <coughs> Dana, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Do we need to approve this way? Do we need to approve? Accept it. I move to accept the audit for uh, 2021. Second. Can we have a motion and a second? Any further discussion? I got anything yet, Sandy. Let me do it. Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay, now we'll go back to number one, which is the 21 22 budget amendment. Yes, with uh, several items I want to hear added on here. <coughs> uh, just for the simple fact of the budget in 20. 22, 23 budget. So as you, as you go through here, you can see property taxes will be collected a little bit more. Uh, <coughs> we did get the payment a little taxes from the housing authority. Restaurant tax, of course, went up. Alcohol tax. Uh, that, I want to back up a minute. That payment in lieu of taxes from housing, that was more than one year yes, taxes. Yes, I just yes. want everybody to understand that. Then if you look on the expense side, you see where the tourism commission, they, that is some of their ARP money that they, they had received. And with the restaurant tax bring more in, that also means that more is going out. So don't be alarmed by the figures. Uh, on the police side, you see on the maintenance repair, we had some damage to some cars we had to fix. Uh, the fuel's gone up. You'll see the motor fuel on uh, police, sanitation, and I think the fire department. Uh, on the water side, on the second page, uh, of course we had to change all the transponders. So, you know, that's $300,000. Uh, so, I was left included the income on the water and uh, uh, on the expense. You can see that there's, you know, there's the back of the motor fuel, the construction and maintenance equipment. That's where the transponders were bought out of. And also, you know, since we sold more water, we also had to buy more water. So, you'll, you'll, a, lot, a lot of this is for budgetary purposes for the 23 budget. Trying to get it cleaned up so we don't have to wait and do it all the last meeting. Yeah. I'd make a motion to accept the budget amendment. Then. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. <coughs> Next item is KLC workers' compensation. We just need a motion to approve applying for the grant. But I'll make the motion that we apply. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify right there. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is Arbor Day resolution. We do this for our Tree City USA designation every year. And I didn't write it down. I, do you have a copy? Was there a copy in our packet? I didn't even look. I'm not sure. I, I didn't see one. one. Okay. I, George and I talked about it, but I don't know if I sent her one. Uh, there wasn't one in the packet. Okay. It will be scheduled for April 22nd. I just need to go ahead and get an approval for this resolution. I move to approve the Arbor Day resolution. Second. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. <coughs> All right, number four personnel. Is that when we need to come in closed session or is there something? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to skip on down to sewer project. Uh, I know we've talked about this a little bit. And of course, there was a presentation made last week. We received $175,000 and some change uh, from, it's not Ohio County's money. It was resource, uh, ARPA money that came to the state. 
and through Senate Bill 36 last year, they divvied it up to the counties based on population. And there was a committee that met to divvy up each county's portion of it. And Beaver Dam was awarded $175,000 of that money. And we're going to talk about using that. You remember we talked last year about the possibility of extension of sewer service out at the Knight subdivision. And this was about half that amount. And then, of course, we have our ARPA funds right. for the other half. Uh, just I, what I need right now is a motion to approve to advertise for an engineering firm to start design work. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Uh, Post same. How far down 231 coming toward Beaver Dam is it going to come, or is it just going to come straight to the main road and that's it? Do what now? How far is it going to come down like Perry Washington and turn and go toward Beaver Dam? Will it do that, or is it just coming straight out and stopping? Well, we're not 100% sure yet. What we have in mind is coming down to 231, down towards right there, the low spot at Cates Hill Loop, yeah. and putting the lift station there. That way we'll open up about seven, 800 acres. A future development for with sewer. Yeah. So, okay. you know, we've always I'm said curious where it was going to go. We've always said on our ARPA funds we wanted to spend it to where in five and ten years from now we'd still see the results of it. And okay. To me, that well, we all kind of agreed it was a good place to start. So, okay, right, welcome, David, Mike. Policy, and a, I didn't get a chance to put it off, but I'll show y'all if you want to see it. It's identifier 7.5, and talking about compensation for travel time. Uh, this was went in effect 2003. We've had $30 a day for expense uh, since 2003. Time for, time change, uh, yeah. I'd just like to ask the council of uh, commission that uh, it be raised $10 a day to $40. And we don't go, but Maybe half a dozen times a year that we use it. Uh, 40 let's is, say that's a, is that enough? Yeah. That's what my question. Yeah. I'm gonna say forty five maybe. I was gonna well, say I mean, forty five. Whatever y'all go for. I mean, yeah, I've been asking for yeah, I, I, mean, I, mean, I thought it was fifty. That, that that's a little more than that. Like well, I, personally, I think we can do it for forty dollars. Okay. Do all right. I mean, that's all I'm asking. I'd rather really have a little more than that. Whatever y'all want to give us. You'd do better. You'd do better though at around fifty. Y'all, now I'm just asking for 40. And like I said, it's probably not, probably that won't be used half a dozen times a year. But you know, like 17, 14 years ago, we did that. Yeah. That's a uh, reflection. We haven't kept up with it. Right. 19 years ago. Huh? 19 years ago. 19. 2003. Yeah. 2003. Oh, yeah, long enough. Yeah. Elementary math. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, it's only kind of <laughs> it's up, I guess, to Charles. What about? I would say they look, uh, I'd like to move it up to $50 a day. Put that in the form of a motion? I, I, I will would, make that a motion. I would say, on both policies, on police and. Wherever it applies. I don't want our sale. I don't want no. what, what that is. I'm assuming it applies at all. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I don't, I'm not trying to cut Dave in that. I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't know <laughs> what they're saying. I it's going to cost to all of them, so I think we ought to apply it to all of them before we go in. Yeah. Okay. But it's not like it's thousands and thousands of dollars, no, but it's something we need to cover our people. Yeah. Probably half a time. What is our mileage now? How much? I don't know. I think it's a state. The state's 47 right now, I think. Is it? State is 41? No, no, no. This is all I've weight below. That's too low. I thought it was 50 cents a mile. Well, that was cool. It said the state is about 47. I don't know. I be reimbursed at a rate of 31 cents. That's not enough. Yeah, I'm but changing. it says, however, employees are encouraged to use city vehicles. If they have to do mileage, I would say we ought to read re that we reimburse at the state's current reimbursement rate, the state's. Okay. Whatever that is. But okay. It's easy to find. Well, what, what, let's back up a minute. We had a motion and a second on the. On the $50. Let's, yeah. let's do it first, keep okay. them separate since it's two separate items in them. So, I've got a motion to second further discussion. We, we are going to do it across the board for all city. That's the way. Right. I, for, for all policies. Yeah. Okay. Fire in. Okay. Uh, those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same.
motion passes. Now, <laughs> let's do the other one. Okay, okay. the state current, we want to come back and visit again. Let's say the current state reimbursement rate, because I don't know how much the school does. Whatever the state reimbursement is, that's what they do. And we always stay current with whatever the state's done and not let them be so far back. Yeah, because the state changes theirs. They will come bring it down some, depending on okay. prices. Right, yeah, which I know they have. Now they'll probably be going back. But up, we said it at a price, we could get caught stuck, like this like, again in a few years. Because we try to always provide the vehicle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can the you current can, state, can. Kentucky, state of Kentucky reimbursement rate effective December 1st, 2021 was 44 cents per month? I think it had gone down. I think it was 47 and went down. Just went down there. Can we, can, can we make, can we do it in a motion to where that our rate stays with whatever the current state that, for that year? That's, that's, that's what his what, motion what was. Said, mm -hmm. uh, that, that sounds feasible. I thought I had an email, but I Did I get a second on that? Second. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. You got one. Any further you got discussion? One, but I got it too. Yeah. yeah. Those in favor signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <laughs> motion passes. Uh, I got one more thing real quick. I'd like to ask the original. We and Larry and I talked about it. Uh, record service. Record service. We, uh, we had a city vehicle that broke down. We had a half tow. Uh, it broke down at the county line. Uh, normally, we just call next on the list. We call next on the list. And they towed, picked the vehicle up the county line, took Paul home and total miles for the trip was 60 miles. Uh, we got a pretty excessive bill. Uh, <coughs> so it was like $325. So I told my officer from, from this point on, request one service. I told them who to request because we have the right to request who we want in the city. But what we'd like to look at, and again, Larry and I talked about a little bit at the time, is getting one record service to do all the city business. Like garbage truck, whatever needs to be towed. Uh, and any vehicles that we arrest somebody on DUI, uh, any arrestable offense that we arrest somebody, then we would be use them for our record service to come and get that vehicle. Now for the accident, people have the right to request who they really want. But they would, whoever the record service was, if we deemed to do that, uh, again, they would get all of our, anything that we had told, they would get. And they would do all of our towing, every, every bit. Uh, I've had a little, a little interest in it. Uh, I don't think there'll be several interested, but I think we need to give everybody an opportunity, because if we don't, you know, we just decide to do something, don't give everybody an opportunity yeah. to say, okay, we'll do this, <coughs> this, this, and this. And uh, I just like to, uh, I know we'll have to come back probably go on closed session when we do anything, but just permission to maybe advertise to get, see if anybody's interested in it. So I got, think it would go ahead. You have a pack ready because everybody asked another question, so. Uh, well, I haven't got a pack ready, but I do have something to go by okay. to say this is what we want. This, this. so they have some, so they put. Okay, how much are you going to charge the city to help, to tow within the city? AB might have a better idea about what I need to do. And maybe I need to get with them on something. But I just like permission to check into that and see what we can do. Larry and I talked to Tommy. We think it'd be a good idea. <coughs> What we be let the, so we advertise for bids until we get the bids in. We leave it to Mike's discretion to call a record if needed. Then we get the bids. Then we can award the contract. Well, it's already your discretion now to call. Who yeah, we, we can to. call who we want now because you know. It's I think he wants our approval. Yeah, want. he's got. The, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I because I told all my officers to call. Uh, well, I told them to call very him. Main thing you're asking is for us to allow you to look into getting bids. To, yeah, see about getting some kind of agreement together. You know, something that if I say okay, record service, record service, record service, we're going to have a meeting here. I've got this list kind of go by. Y'all take it back with you. You fill it out. Tell us what you'll do 
city floor, what you, you know, would tell them what we expect and put it in there and go that I that feel route. like probably until we do bids, probably should go with the next on the list. That's just... Do what now? I said I feel like probably until you do bids, probably should go with next on the list. If that's how it's been done. Well, it's been it's been next on the list. Yeah. But that's for, that's, that's for the county. county that's for county. That's for the whole county. And that's for outside vehicles. So if we if we go by we've gone by the next on the list for our own. Yeah, for our own. <coughs> also. Yeah. When we've had one total so far, we just went on on our own. You know, next on the list. Mm -hmm. But after this other little financial a couple weeks ago, I told mine. So I know what Greg's going to charge to tow our vehicle yeah. in the county, in, like, at least in the county. And it'd be a minimal charge to Alabama, county. Because he's been really good to all of us, you know, towing vehicles for us. So that's just kind of what I'd like to try to get something together and come back maybe and present to y'all next, next month. Well, then I make a motion to advertise for this. We don't know. No, we don't want to do that yet. Not yet. Give you oh, we want to get the information get together. Okay. Yeah. Just permission okay. to get packed yeah. together. Yeah. For people. Sure. Yeah. Permission, yeah. To, yeah. permission to proceed with the process. Yeah. Right. Permission to proceed with the process. I think that'd be a good idea. Okay. Really and truly. All right. And we'll. I'll try to go with, get with AV. We'll try to come up with something. You know. We would hope. <laughs> we, we, we talked about it the other day for 15, 20 minutes. So we're kind of on the same same page. Tommy, you have anything you want to? Mm -hmm. Lisa? Really? I can't Jim. believe that. <laughs> hey, it was a real nice meeting the other day when we went. Of course, anytime you get $175,000. It's, it's, it's really nice, but it was a really nice meeting, and the only thing I hate is they said I made Channel 14 news and I didn't get to see it. Uh-huh. They interview you? <laughs> no, didn't oh. interview. They got a picture of us getting our check. Uh -oh. You can Channel go back and look at them. Hmm. They're, in, they're in storage. i got to figure out how to do it, because I like to see what's like we were Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, our lieutenant governor is really a nice lady. I, I, I want to tell you, she is really a nice lady. She seems like she is. She seemed down to earth. <laughs> yes, she did. She, when she came off of that platform to give the folks from Centertown their check, it showed a lot of class. A lot of class. Aww. That's all I got to say. Okay. Sandy? I don't think I have anything. Charles? I'm good. Kevin? Everything's going good. I'm not going to complain right now. <laughs> I, everything. I do have one thing. That there I you would, go. Yeah, you know, I have to bring this up, but I'm bringing this up for Larry's sake, not anybody else. We have a little problem down at the Olden Park. We need a, if somebody's using Olden Park, and you, you We got know, a big problem down there. We need, we need, if somebody's using Olden Park, you need to, the police need to make sure they have documented with us. They are not allowed to just go down there and put on a show and, and bring out speakers and have food trucks and all that unless they registered with the city. If they do that and they're not registered with the city, that's, that's not right. Because we've had a couple of instances where some people were charged, apparently, and I hate to say this, they tell me that. I've they never charged admission? Them. They were charged money to set up. To use a field. <clears throat> I have not found any definite, but I was told that. I think we need to by go two to, different people. I think the commission needs to go to the source and say enough, you know. You probably told me about the day it was real cold when they were down there. Somebody was down there. They had this they was actually there. started last summer. I've been hearing all kinds of stuff going on down there, and it's this this got to you back in the winter time, and I just I wanted to bring it up because this past weekend I got chewed out. For something, and I come to find out it wasn't true. So, you know, I don't mind getting chewed out. I do stupid stuff all the time, but when I get chewed out for something that we didn't do, <clears throat> the city didn't do, then I get upset. So, I don't know who you're talking about. They, they'll contact me, try to get me involved in stuff, and I just don't do it. And I'm good about. I, I don't mind I don't them doing stuff. It's just, it's just the matter of, of don't lie to me about it. 
you know, if they did it, that's fine. But if I come, if I ask Larry, hey, did you guys do this? And he tells me no. So I <clears throat> maybe a question on that. If, is there some sort of permit process that we can do to where if something's going on down there on a Saturday, there is supposed to officer can roll in there and say, hey, I need to see you, whatever. Well, see, they're supposed to register down here at the city building. But there's no permit or anything but for them to no, have on there's site. There's nothing that they would have on hand. No, there's that. not. So if we don't know, if, if they just say, well, we've got a permit, and then we come back on Monday, and that is no, true. they didn't have Should permission. we start doing don't they, Aren't they supposed to get a temporary business license? Didn't we make... If it's a food truck, they should have yeah. a business license. Mm -hmm. But I think they probably do, don't they, the one that was there? They had two or three different ones there. Oh. See, I, I don't know the full circumstances yeah, of what you're talking about. But. Well, the thing is, there, there are people that go down there to use the facility, and I get it. It's a facility that does need to be used, but you can't have one person running somebody else off just because they don't right. like somebody. Right. Right. And you can't say, well, it's my field because I scheduled it. No one scheduled it. It's not on a schedule in here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if the, it's going to cause a problem unless we get everybody to come down and register. So and I thought there was an understanding that things they are supposed to, to register every time they have something. Well, and that's what that's what every time that I've been questioned that I've told them, I said, have you talked to Kevin for the mayor? Because yep. that's out of my league anyway. And there there is a sheet that they can sign saying, if I'm not mistaken, right, that they can say we're we're using Olden Park for da 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 da. It's not that hard to come down here to do it. I mean, and if you're going to use it, you should be doing that. Where would that should be located? Yeah, you're talking about if something, if something happens on a Saturday or Sunday. Down there for that weekend, just one person, but if we do have a conflict where there's two separate You've got parties, somebody, yeah, you'd have somebody that need some sort of proof. Something that you can yeah. get to at that time. Right. Well, you might be if they come yeah, in. It can, supposedly there's something going on this weekend, and I'm like, well, no one told me about it. Well, if you get them to come in, my, they fill out that stuff. form. You give them a copy, they can show it. That I've been to the city hall. It's my fault if it wasn't. Well, remember the city property. Yes. I'll take care of it. Well, that's the thing. That's the person that's obviously wants to go to the city building. I mean, we're talking about the old park, huh? Yeah, it, remember, said it, what what he brings up is a good point because if if you've got established activities down there that somebody through the city commission is responsible for overseeing, make sure the premises is safe, all those type of things, then there's not a problem. But it's, it it's it is city property if it's being done in that way. It's also city property. If it has no supervision at all, and because because of that, you almost got to have something in place in which it's being monitored. If if y'all are going to keep the property, if the city's going to continue to keep the property for park or whatever, because if somebody gets hurt down there at night or yeah, you know, yeah, the city's no yeah. different as happens here. Yeah. Well, and it. To my knowledge, it always had been up until apparently just recently. Yeah. The, the, now, the, what's happening that I know of this weekend was a Easter egg hunt out of my church at 11. Originally, they had told me that they were going to do something. I said, no, we'll just back off and do something different then. And then we found out we weren't going to be involved. And Somebody else jumped in. Then they jumped, bailed on. <laughs> they may have bailed on the bandwagon, and I don't know about it. But it, it was supposed to be that group at our church. We do a community thing down there for projects. Usually do it every year. We had been in the big park, and I know when we did it in the big park that I went by and got rescued. But if it was registered <coughs> this year, that's my fault, Kevin. No, I'm not. What, but, but this thing this weekend there, wasn't what bugged you. It's what happened about a month ago. Was your Easter egg last it. Saturday or this coming Saturday? Coming this Saturday. This coming Saturday. Okay. Now, this was an event that's just And if you're there, I don't have a problem. See, I didn't know about yeah. that. that and yeah, this is a problem that happened a couple, oh, eight weeks okay. ago, six I weeks ago. I know I've passed by there and there'd be food trucks down there or I'd see a sign there's a food truck and some kind of a singing or something. And I, I didn't, 
And I, yeah, we, I wouldn't I'm generally it, just under assumption that that they cleared it through somebody here in the city. Well, at least I have the calendar for, for parks and whatnot. And what we can do is anytime there's a function going on, we, we just make a copy. They need to let us know. We, we can make a copy here for Mike yeah. and he can make sure the officers get it. Yeah. If you guys yeah. copy of that calendar. But in, any, anything that is scheduled over there, whether Jim schedules it or Sandy schedules it, it needs to come through here. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm been sorry the, because we, we always had come down and but I don't, like said, anything we were doing. I knew about you. You did it last year, didn't you? You've done last year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we even did one in the big park over there that had over a thousand people show up. Had had eight hundred hunting eggs. Wow. And we fed everybody. Didn't charge nothing, we just fed. And back, remember that whiteboard we used to have that hung in the old commission room? There's one on the back side of the wall. Is it hung one time we had the biggest Easter egg hunt in this county because the one we did it at night. I know, but I was just saying, what if we got something like that? Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, to hang up, even if it was back there somewhere by where the old candy machine used to be. That might be easier. It's kind of out of view, you know, from the people walking in and out. But something they have easy access to. Well, if it's in there, we don't have access. Oh yeah, that. Because the door's locked. I mean. I could probably get in the door on the other side, but I'm not here on Saturday. Yeah. Well, it, it should Sunday, just be a matter of running off a copy yeah, of something. Copy it. It. We put it in the car. They put it in the car. Yeah, because it's not a week. Usually it's just, we don't know that there's anything there. Larry, is there a time at night that you've got posted that people have to stop functions down there? Yeah, right. whatever went on. At the old one. There's curfew on there. Is it, is it, is it, is it Mark, though? He has signs up saying. Also, we have written in a policy about that. We have written in a policy. That I don't know. See, we need to do that. Who would expect a little bit? Say curfew 10 o'clock. Say, 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 say no using facilities unless you have registered with city. Stuff like that. I think it might stop a lot of the things that have been going on. Might. I'm not saying it will. So it might. If it's posted and the commission has to put something in place, your police can, can, uh, can enforce it. Can enforce it. Well, I do know for a fact that there was an instance where we had a group down there doing something. And another group came in and ran them off. Said, we've got this reserve to go. And then Whoa. they didn't. What was this? Was back in the fall, it was the that's football. more what I was talking about. Yeah, if it becomes a conflict, who had it? I don't mind who was down there? Uh, because I don't know who's who's using it for practice. And they come down and said, the States French. Who came and down? You know, it's close. Sure. And I said, yeah, I, I said, no, it's, it's not registered because she doesn't fill out an application that says that she's supposed to be down there. That's the big rub. We have to have something where. Like you say, if two people are going to go for it at the same time, somebody should be on the list that Tommy can come down yeah. and go, nope, this group's got it, you have to go home. I know a lot of times in the in the summertime or fall, I go, we do one Wednesday night a month down there and, and have it. I, I can take ride. my tractor and do a hay ride for the kids. Yeah. That, again, stuff <laughs> like that. We usually problem. tell you guys that we're going to do it, so that's a... You're, you're registered for us, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't want to get... I don't want to overstep my bounds either, but I know right now there's a conflict going down there because I, I get enough wind at it. Yeah. But I do stay. <coughs> so can we make a... Fix some signage up like we... I know used to be some down there. And can we make it a, a policy? We have to amend the policy? Say that you have to register to use the facility now? That should, already, that should already be in policy. I think we just need to tell the party that we're having issues with they have to register. Yeah. You know, from this point forward, everything comes to the city. And they have to have this a point back where they were supposed well, to all be. <laughs> hey, I told them, I told them before, well, personally, that because it's, it's, com been... it's common courtesy to contact Kevin or contact Paul and and go through them. And, and that, that's... Or contact the lease. Well, either they come to the office somebody. here. Well, yeah. Lisa's they need yeah. city halls where they need that's to call. That's who they need to call because yeah. she'll have the calendar to know. Yeah, because you're going to have to put it on the calendar. And that's something you can... Call Kevin. Yeah. Call Everybody calls me. I hate it. Well, you just have a sheet printed out every Friday. So I don't guess this would be a good time to ask you about pickleball, would it? Uh, uh, don't even go there with me. I did not want to say anything. That's why I said okay. it's going to be good. Larry, do you have anything? 
No. no. I've just got one thing, and then we'll need to go into closed session. But I did get a letter actually today in the mail where we have been awarded a land and water conservation fund grant in the amount of eighty eight thousand and eighty four dollars wow. and this is to go towards paving at beaver dam park the parking lots very good so, that's great i was pretty pleased with that actually i'll admit i was a little surprised uh, I hope the price of asphalt is not so stinking high that that 88000 goes a long way. Well, it can't pay. It has to, we have to at least match it. So, <coughs> so but... $180,000, that be $176,000? That's still... That won't match it because the grant request was more than that. But just to get that much of it is... Yeah. That much of it because it's something that needs to be done. A.V., you have anything for us before we go into closed session? Okay, entertain a motion to go into closed session. Thank you, we go into closed session. Set. And I'd like to ask David Stevens if you'll join us for the first item of business in there, please.